Hi, I'm Lorna. I'm a scientist at Scotland's Rural College and I study pollinators. So I study all the insects that visit crops. So insects like butterflies and bumblebees and even beetles. In many parts of the world, these insects are struggling and their numbers are going down. Because of this, scientists are beginning to worry that this could influence the food we eat. A lot of the things that we enjoy eating, things like apples, raspberries and even chocolate, rely on insects to pollinate them. At the minute, I'm trying to learn more about how changes in insect numbers could influence production in apples. And I really need help from you guys with an experiment. The experiment is really easy to do at home and all you need are two apples, a chopping board and a knife. Hello, I'm going to do the wobble test with these apples. So this one looks less squint and when we do the wobble test, it doesn't move. Whereas this apple looks a lot more squint and when we do the wobble test, it falls right over. So now we're going to do the seed count test. You might use an adult to help you cut. In the wobbly apple, I've only found two seeds, but in the non-wobbly apple, I found six. So now we're going to do the taste test. First, we have our wobbly apple. It's okay, but not perfect. Now, we have our non-wobbly apple. Mmm. I hope you enjoyed this experiment. Thanks for helping us and please send my mum your results. Bye.